Have you heard of the book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson? It was published several years ago. I don't exactly remember when, and he's published a number of books since then, but that book really was one of the first that helped me start analyzing and understanding the things that I was giving so much time, energy, thought, worry to, and, and help me understand, to try to understand why. Why was I so concerned about having this picture on the wall in this place or having this bag or how, or, you know, being able to go to this restaurant or whatever the thing was, like trying to understand why was it for me or was it really because of what I thought it would represent to others and what they would think about me. And this subtle art of not giving a fuck really helped me start thinking about this and the why and processing it differently than I had before. He has a recent blog post that really starts me thinking too. Again, I just love people who can make me think. Hmm. So I hope that I'm helping you find things to think about. But this post he had um, was really talking about how many things we are trying to be concerned with or trying to um, accomplish or be involved with. It's not, it, it, it's as if we are living our lives wide and shallow, trying to, to do and be and gather continually without going deep in an experience or without going deep in a relationship or without going deep in, you know, in a knowledge on a specific topic. And instead of looking at constantly increasing the number of things we are trying to learn and do and, and find is go narrow and deep and really find something that interests us and stay with it and and don't don't feel like you are are being lazy or being uninterested because you don't know every you know so much about so many things but you are really focused on something that is meaningful to you or calling to you. You know, he said something about, if you think about the generations that came before us, about, you know, the after the war, and it was all about, for the first time in human history, it was easy to progress, easy to accumulate, easy you know, it was, it was so much easier and coming off of the depression and it was trying to gather, gather, gather. And then the computer age, information age comes and we're gathering, 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 and we're not stopping to process. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot of difference between, you know, gathering and processing. So we, we are making ourselves wide and shallow when that depth and happiness and fulfillment more comes from more narrow and deep. So the subtle art of not giving a fuck about not knowing everything a little about everything, but really finding that interest in going narrow and deep and not feeling like you're shortchanging yourself. 
I think that's one of the reasons that I really feel so much more centered here. Number one, I don't speak the language that great, so there's not a lot I can go out and be gathering because <laughs> I don't really understand totally. So I've really narrowed down my social circle, you know, where I'm living, obviously, and I am learning so much more about a fewer number of things, and it's really wonderful. And I'm giving myself like that is what my life is now. Who knows what it'll be tomorrow, but right now I'm going a little more narrow and much deeper. So tell me what you think. My name is Linnell Wilson, and if you haven't already, please click below and subscribe. And I am really glad you're here. Talk to y'all later.